Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add recycle bin options for external drives like USB flash drives and that kind of thing. So if you go to your recycle bin and you right click and you go to properties, you'll notice that it's just for your local disk and if you had like a second internal hard drive you'd have an option there showing your space available. And then of course you could uh, set custom sizes for how much space you want to allocate for uh, recycled files to keep in the recycle bin, that kind of thing. And then if you open it, you can see I have a couple of files in there from the C drive, but I have this other drive here, this E drive, the SanDisk flash drive. So if I were to delete this file called trail, it only gives me the option you want to permanently delete it. I say yes. And if I go back into my recycle bin, it's not there. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the option to have recycle bin for all your other drives. And we'll show you how to do that. It's just a couple of quick registry edits. So I got my little thing here. So first thing you need to do is open the registry editor. Reg edit. And now we need to uh, go to this location here. You just copy and paste it. Easiest way out of the uh, description. So I'll put all this in the description. Press enter. Okay, so now you under this policies and then under explore, you want to right click it and do a new D word 32 bit value. And then recycle bin drives just like that. No spaces with the capital letters. And then you want to change this value. Do all F's here. Just double click it. All F's. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to this other key here. And so we're going to do the same thing with the same key, or same value, I should say. And then OK. So now we'll minimize all this. So let's right click our recycle bin and see if it took effect right away. Go to properties. Nope. So if it doesn't take effect, we're going to restart explore by going to task manager. You could log off and back on, but we'll just try restarting explore here and restarting windows explore. Okay. So now you can see we have uh, recycle bin options for our SanDisk flash drive here. It also did it for the uh, DVD drive, which is not going to matter because it's not going to give you any space there because there's nothing in it. Now, if I go to that flash drive and I delete, say, this bike image here and I go to recycle bin, there it is and it says it's in the E drive so I could right click it and restore it and now it's back there and also if you want to have the display delete confirmation dialog box, that's turned off on this computer. So now if you have that on, if I go to delete it, it'll say, you sure you want to send it to the recycle bin? And you can say yes. And now it's in the recycle bin. And then you, of course, sort by location and that kind of thing or date deleted. So that way, if you accidentally delete something off your flash drive, you'll be able to get it back in the uh, recycle bin. So now let's uh, do a quick test here. I'm going to take out the flash drive. Okay, so now I'm going to plug it back in. Okay, so let's try it again. We'll delete this carb image here. Send the recycle bin. There it is. So taking out the flash drive, put it back in. It still remembered it from uh, from the last time it was in there. So it'll actually just do any drives you have connected to your computer. So give it a shot. See how you like it. And if you don't like it, you could go back into these uh, two sections here and delete this uh, key from both of them and just restart your computer or restart Explorer and you'll be back to normal. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.